Welcome back to Trends and Friends. Well, we're here with Jackie Cruz from J. Cruz Gallery. He is the owner, designer, creator, all those <laughs> things. Thank you so much for letting us come in here today. Thank you. Thank you. Well, this is your special time of year. I know you decorate for many different seasons, but Christmas is what the bread and butter, I would say. Yes, ma'am. You look around here. The place is absolutely beautiful. What does Christmas mean to you? Uh, Christmas means to me, of course, is a time of joy. It also represents Jesus, and it gives us an opportunity. You know, it's supposed to be all year long to mm -hmm. be Jesus to people, but really at this time to be generous and giving and loving and kind and all those things that we we desire from people towards us. We get, we get the opportunity to be that gift to others. You are definitely a gift, <laughs> and you have lots of gifts. I mean, we got to come in here, right, Kelsey? We got to do a lot. <laughs> we are we are very very lucky for one. Um, I don't know why you decided to allow us to come in here. We got lucky. For we sure. got very lucky. <laughs> Blessed would be the word I'd say. But um, to be able to come in here, make a Jackie Cruz Santa. Just the detail that we had to put into this. I just want to say this is a very small replica of what you do. So let's talk a little bit about your Santas. A little, a little over six foot tall, the uh, size of a football player, and that's what I'm mainly known for is my life size Saint Nicholas's. Okay, so from life size, and I've seen some that look very buff, and then some that look, you know, just very Santa-esque with a big tummy and all of that, but you make them in all different shapes and sizes, colors, what have you. What's your first step when you do this? The first step is to come up with the development, the concept of the Santa, and that usually is developed after I sculpt the face. So we'd say first starting with sculpting the face, and then the Santa tells me what it's going to be from that point. And do you base it on people's um, furniture, their look and feel of their home, the atmosphere of their home, how do you determine what the Santa will actually look like in terms of its clothes and everything? We do. Our Santa is based on the interior design concept, so we will go in and look at the bones of your home, the textures of your fabric, and we'll create a Santa that fits into your home because it's one of a kind, and that's what I like to do is one of a kind St. Nicholas's. I think these are one of yeah, a kind, Yeah, and right? they definitely take their own. Like, you have no idea how fast it kind of takes on its own personality. You'll see how up close so many of these look different. So how do you see them change? And you're doing them every time, but they're still changing, correct? Yeah, they're, they're unique because when I sculpt, it's not like I'm sculpting from a picture or from something. It's actually what comes out of me or through the gift that God's given me. So that's what makes it so fun because every face is always different. It's just like you were saying, we all sculpted at the same time, did the same techniques, and each one of them developed in something totally different. And that's what's so magical about the world of sculpting because it comes from the person's heart. So that's pretty cool. And this took us a long time to do. How? Like You weren't supposed uh, to give that secret away. Oh, sorry. Well, <laughs> it only took 15 minutes. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I, yeah, no. It How long took a do full some day. of the other ones take you? How long is the process? The process for a life-size Santa usually takes about uh, three weeks to do, uh, wow. from the beginning of the sculpt to actually molding, and mass um, molding the Santa and then making the clothing. And so wow. it takes, it's pretty fast, people say, in three weeks. but. It takes time, so you saw sculpting yes. the face. <laughs> well, knowing that this is something you've never done, you've never taught anyone how to do this, right? <laughs> never have. <laughs> you probably won't ever do it again. But <laughs> what, what, what was this like for you, having us come in and do this? Teaching is fun because mm -hmm. it's if you have a gift, if you don't share the gift, the gift disappears. But yeah. what happened was a joy I saw in you two ladies' face as you were sculpting <laughs> the laughter that we had, you know, just sculpting all the little elements and how you begin to see the magic happen as each each layer was added to each piece, each piece of clay that was layered onto the face made something different. And you two were totally like enthralled by it, right? <laughs> yes. We were I, I will, yes. <laughs> I will attest to the fact that when we first started and I just saw that silver piece of aluminum foil, I was like, Okay, I had so much fun. I appreciate you for everything that you are and the, the amazing gifts that God thank gives you. you. Thank you. And I'm just really thankful that we get to be here in the Hub City and have you here yeah, you. sharing your love of Christmas with all of us. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. And the part of this with, with the teaching is to watch you two young, young ladies say you didn't have a gift and we pulled it out of <laughs> I you. I still don't know if we still do. So they do have a gift. And that's why I try to tell people God's given gifts and talents to everybody. We just have to tap into it. And that was kind of cool yeah. how you didn't even think out of a piece of clay and some foil that you could create something <laughs> yeah. and it happened and it's pretty awesome so that's rewarding to me so I love doing that yeah. you are awesome thank you thank you so much for sharing your gift with us <laughs> thank you we appreciate it all right don't go anywhere we'll be back with more trends and friends after the break